All right, guys, so I just finished um, cutting down my arrows because I thought they were too stiff, so too weak. So I cut them down to stiffen them up a bit, and now we'll give them a go to see if they shoot any better or any worse. Let's get into it and uh, see how we go. Now my sight settings are still the same from the other day from the long arrow so let's see how much of a difference cutting them down does to the impact point and if you notice my weights are back on I've glued them back on finally let's see how these bad boys go They just looked magnificent going through the air then. That was a bit like that was just me holding. Well, I've bent my neck screwed, so I don't know how long and good I'm going to go with this bad neck, but we'll give it a go anyway. Feeling pretty good. I think my sights are in still. So it hasn't affected my sight settings any, which is um, something different. I thought it would have screwed them right up. Oh, I don't have any quick to touch. So let's go check that out. The first one and the last one are a bit dodgy, but I mean the second one. First one was a peanut. Second one I thought was way low as an X and this one was way out and it's still just touching or maybe just out. So let's, um, I think my sights are good to go. Let's start scoring and see how we end up. Okay, first score and end. What I'm doing now too is um, the Dudley check-in. So I never knew how hard to actually pull into the back wall. I was always just over cranking it, just pumping it in there. So now what I'm doing, seeing a video Dudley does, he gets back and just, just bounces on that back wall a little bit just to make sure he's not over pulling it, which is a great tip I thought. I'm gonna start doing that too. Bit of a high one. That was in there. I think my center shot's out a bit because I was screwing with my center shot the other day. When the spinage was so out, I was playing with my center shot thinking it was my center shot screwing it up majorly, but it was a spine. So I think I'm going to have to blaze my center shot back in, but the way we're going so far, it's not too bad. Let's have a look. Two high tens and an X. So 10, 10, X. Not too bad. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so I just got to make sure I take my time with my shots. Don't rush them, don't rush them. Just let it happen. Oh, 
lock this little Dudley check in. This was a bit wobbly, I don't know what happened then. Then I flicked that last one up high. Front hand. I can't blame the arrows anymore, can I? Second shot and then third shot, I was worried about the second shot and blew this second shot's good worried about the second shot and blew the third shot when the second shot was in there it's all up here so I've got X 10 9 right, let's go okay third in let's get into it Let's go back to the two finger. Bit shaky on that last arrow again. Don't know why, I think it's a bit of target panic. I'm like, oh, 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 oh last arrow, you better get it in. Just calm down and shoot the arrows, that's all I've got to do. Just take me time. And another stinking nine. It is. What's with this third target today? So I've got another peanut in the first one, another ten. And a nine. You're kidding me. Okay, let's continue on. Okay, fourth end. That was way low, I didn't have any back tension. It's that last target, I just cannot hit that last target today. Major bit of target panic happening. Crazy, I don't know what's going on. Get to the last target and just freak out. I don't know what's I don't know what I'm thinking. I don't know what's going on actually. It's all up here like a, it's not the arrows, it's like me. You know, you're hitting exactly where I'm letting them off, but Ridiculous. All right, here do we go? Oh. Now that would be a weasel if I ever seen a weasel. Check that out. I think there's a bit of yellow in there. Like minutest fraction. So 9x9. Let's swap to the back tension and see what happens. Okay, fifth end. I'm really 
got major target panic with that last one. I'm, so I'm going to swap back to the, the old hingey. Let's see how we go there. Now I got this Dudley check in, the back tension might work a bit better. It'll be pulling the guts out of it so bad. That took ages to go off. No better with the back tension. Must be my neck killing me. Well, that felt better, but it sounded funny. I think a fang come off then. It's very. I think a vein come loose or something. It's just very good. Something was going on. It's definitely made a funny noise. We do, we've uh, got a loose fletch. Anyway, there's me first. Um, back tension, second back tension, third back tension. I'm going to not score, I'm just going to keep uh, shooting for a little while and see how we go. Get used to this back tension again. Alrighty, went and changed my arrow. Still in the back tension, let's shoot a couple more groups. another five groups with the five ends with the back tension let's see if we can get the flow back with the back tension next killing me They're all shooting a bit to the left now that I've swapped to the, the BT. Definitely think my shadow shot's out. Hundred percent, me center shots out. But you know what the next video is, guys. Doing me center shot with the laser. So that might be in tomorrow's video. But how's this? They're all on the right side, left side. They're all equal shots. They're all in the same hole, pretty much. But this one's a bit wider. But look at that. Look at that. They're pretty much in the same spot. So for some reason the back tension makes them shoot a little bit to the left. Interesting. All right guys, let's continue on. One thing I'm definitely liking the back tension more with this new Dudley check-in, so I know how much tension to start with. The starting tension, that's what the check-in's for. But you get your, your starting tension good, your holding tension good. So now that I've done I'm to do this a couple of times, I notice that when I get back, I'm like pulling Ridiculous amounts. Mm -hmm. 
That's feeling heaps better now, actually. Old John Dudley, he's definitely got a few good tips, let me tell you. Definitely knows what he's talking about. That one was a bit shaky. The screwed thing about today is public holiday, I can't even go to the chiropractor to get my neck fixed. Shocking. I'm loving this Dudley check-in actually. I think I'm going back to the BT all the time. The other back tension's the way to go, I think. Now that I've got this Dudley check-in. Hectic, and if you wonder where I've seen this check-in thing, it was on uh, Facebook, one of his Facebook videos. I was pretty lucky because I'm never on Facebook, but I just thought, oh, I'll check it out. And look at that, all in the same spot again. Left side of the 10. Crazy. That's the center shot, I reckon. I reckon it cost me center shots out, it's throwing it out a bit. All right, let's get on the next one. Alrighty guys, I think I've only got a few more ends left in me. My neck's really starting to kill me now. Here we go, migraine. Alrighty. I'm absolutely loving the back tension with this check-in. I do know what I'm going to do a video on the check-in actually. I'll do a, in the next video I'll do about how to check-in and what checking in is, the Dudley check-in. Don't think I made it up, I got it from John Dudley, but I'll try and explain it in my next video, please. Makes it so much easier to hold too. Because <laughs> I used to be pulling so hard on it, I'd start to shake because I'd go uh, bend in the bow in half. But now I'm doing the check in, I can hold it a bit better. Definitely makes such a difference having the start the right holding weight every time because sometimes I think I'd be get back here and I'd be put oh God, that kinky neck big time. Oh. Sometimes I think I'd be pulling real hard into it and then other times I'd be half hard into it and then other times I'd be like ah! so I'd never have the consistent consistent you know back wall but check this out. Exactly the same hole. If I adjusted my sights, that'd be in the X. Loving the back tension, loving the John Dudley. All right, let's get into it. I'll do two more and then see how we go. Okay, second last end. Do two more and then uh, I go ice my neck. Still all over on that left side, I think I'm 
Should have probably fixed me sights and scored them. Or something. Shoot, pretty good. The old BT coming back with a vengeance. Now check this out. This one's a little bit low, but it's still all in the same spot. So if that was there, it would be all. That'd still all be in the X. Insane. Can we see a good shot there? Hectic. All right, let's shoot one more. See if I can still do it. Alrighty, guys. Last end for today. My next kink in the oops. I'm absolutely loving this back tension. I'll do this centre shot. Can't wait to see a score. What a score with this new back. With this Dudley check-in and the back tension. It's going to be good, I think. I can just hold so good now. The check-in. John Dudley. Loving it. Absolutely loving this check-in thing. Don't worry guys, I'll explain it more in the next video. I'll, go into, I'll try and go into it in depth on what I'm actually doing with this um, John Dudley check-in. That last one was a bit wobbly. But look, same hole, same hole, touch high. Still, for a bad shot, I'd still probably be in the 10 if these were in the X. Insane. Old John Dudley, I definitely recommend just looking him up. If he's want some coaching, get into John Dudley, that's who to look up. Don't get your coaching off me, just come along for the ride with me. Come and check me out, see how I'm going, see. Follow along, but uh, get all your tips from the pros, that's my advice. You can get some tips off me and see what I'm doing and find out. Do you know what I'd recommend from me? Learn from my mistakes rather than from what me think. So everything got stuff up. Learn from that rather than learning from all my um, good tips. I think that's the best way you're going to learn from me anyway. If you want some really good tips, get on to John Dudley. He's an absolute killer. And he commented on one of my videos too. Can you believe that? I was absolutely pumped with that. Couldn't believe that. Oh, John Dudley himself commented on one of my videos. I was shocked. I was blown away. I'm still a bit starstruck. Anyway, guys, if you like this video, hopefully this new um, secret's going to be set up soon. So that'll be exciting. Stay tuned for that. There's um, going to be very exciting things coming for this channel. Should be very interesting. Keep the videos a little bit more, a little bit more entertaining, I'd guess as well. A bit like the old days, maybe. Little tip for you, little hint for you. Alrighty guys, so um, if you like this video for me, hit the like button for me, hit the subscribe button, hit all the buttons, and I'll see you soon for the next video.